Hello in class. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a data source to create a control to add to a data grid. I've already created the project. It's a Windows Forms project, and I called it Data Grid. My database is already sitting on my C drive in this folder C Sharp Projects. It is the student database from the Chapter 14 student information of our textbook. I'm going to access the data sources window. And if your data sources window isn't showing up, it's under the view tab and other windows and data sources. Your data sources window should say it's currently empty. So I'm ready to add a new data source. My data source is going to be a database. I want to use a data set. Now I can add my connection string. My database is an access database file. So I'll continue. And when I do that, I should have an opportunity to browse for my database. Again, it's on my C drive. I can test my connection. Everything looks great. I'll click OK. Now I can click Next. And it asks me if I want to create a copy of this database in my project. If I do that, it will create this copy every time I run this project. And I really don't want that to happen. I'm going to say no. It's going to save a copy of the connection string for me. I'm not too worried about that right now. And then it's going to show me all of the tables that are available in my database. This database has two tables, the student table and the department table. We're going to choose the student table for our data source and click finish. Now that our data source has been created, we can access our form and just drag that student data source onto our form. And Visual Studio will automatically create the data grid control and all the other associated objects that are required for accessing that database. My data grid was placed. I'm going to choose this quick command option and dock this in the parent container. Now I could edit my columns and I'm going to make my first my last name column show up first and I want that column name to say last name. Then I want my first name went too far and its header is going to just say first name. Um, the next thing I want to see is my phone number. So I'll make that header say phone. Then I want the student ID and I'll make that header say student ID. And then for this application, I'm going to go ahead and remove the major ID. I don't need to see that. Now when I click OK, you should see the column customization is complete. And our headings now look a little bit easier to use. Now I'll run this application. And as you can see, without me entering any code at all, I have a functional data grid program. I can change items. I can delete rows. I could add a new row. And I can save all of these items. Oops, 
not like that. That was my fault because I tried to add and then click save all at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and save that data. Now notice that the navigational controls work. Everything's nice. Gives you something to experiment with. That's it for this video. That's how easy it is. Thanks.